how to fix configuration system failed to initialize error. In this latest video installment of our troubleshooting series, we will show you how to fix the configuration system failed to initialize error. But before performing any of the recommended troubleshooting steps, it's best to restart your computer first. This action refreshes the operating system and remove any corrupt temporary data that could be causing the problem. First, run a system file checker. The first thing you will have to do in this case is to run a system file checker. First you will need to run an SFC scan to check for any errors and if there are you will have to proceed with the DISM command. To do this, type command prompt on the search bar. Then right click on the command prompt app then choose run as administrator. First run the Inbox Deployment Image Servicing and Management or DISM tool prior to running the System File Checker. Inside the command prompt, type in the following commands and press Enter on your keyboard after the command in order to execute it. Type DISM.exe slash online slash cleanup dash image slash restore health then press enter. It may take several minutes for the command operation to be completed. Make sure you wait for the command to finish running before you start with the system file checker command. Once DISM is complete, you can now proceed with system file checker. Type SFC slash scan now command and then press enter. The SFC slash scan now command will scan all protected system files and replace corrupted files with a cached copy that is located in a compressed folder. It is usually located at do not close this command prompt window until the verification is 100% complete. The scan results will be shown after this process is finished. After system file checker scan is complete, you will be getting any of the following messages. Windows Resource Protection did not find any integrity violations. This means that you do not have any missing or corrupted system files. Windows Resource Protection could not perform the requested operation. To resolve this problem, perform the System File Checker Scan in safe mode and make sure that the pending deletes and pending renames folders exist under. Windows Resource Protection found corrupt files and successfully repaired them. Details are included in. Windows Resource Protection found corrupt files but was unable to fix some of them. Details are included in. If you get the last message, Windows Resource Protection found corrupt files but was unable to fix some of them then you will need to repair the corrupted files manually by typing this command and press enter. Next check if the configuration system failed to initialize error still occurs. Next, delete the configuration file of the application. If the problem is caused by the config file of a certain application then you should try to delete this file. It will be recreated once the application is opened again. To do this, press Windows plus R key on your keyboard to open Run dialog box. Then, at the Run dialog box type percent %update percent and press Enter or click on OK. Then, delete the application config file. You can delete or move the entire folder to a new location and rename it in case you want to replace it back. Next, restart your computer. After computer completely reboots, check if the configuration system failed to initialize error still occurs. Lastly, perform a clean boot. When you do a clean boot you can pinpoint the third-party application that could be causing this problem. To do this, press Windows plus R key on your keyboard to open Run dialog box. 
Then, at the Run dialog box, type msconfig and press Enter or click on OK to open System Configuration section. At the System Configuration window, navigate to the Services tab present at the top of the screen. Then, check the option which says Hide all Microsoft services. Once you click this, all Microsoft-related services will be disabled leaving behind all the third-party services. Then, click the Disable All button present at the near bottom at the left side of the window. All the third-party services will now be disabled. Click Apply to save changes made. Next, navigate to the Startup tab. Then, click the option of Open Task Manager. You will be redirected to the Task Manager where all the applications or services which run when your computer starts will be listed. Select each service one by one and click Disable at the bottom right side of the window. Or you can right-click on the service and select Disable from the drop-down menu. After disabling all services, restart your computer. After computer completely reboots, check if the configuration system failed to initialize error still occurs. If it doesn't then there is an external program which was causing the problem. Search through your installed programs and determine which application is causing your problems. After following the methods mentioned, you have successfully fixed configuration system failed to initialize error. We hope that this guide has been helpful. Please support us by We hope that this guide has been helpful. Please support us by